Welcome to another episode of the Ramsey Horror Special on the Uncult Blog, where we continue with this mini series of episodes directed to the Bollywood horror flicks being released on the upcoming Blu-ray box set from Mondo Macabro. The films that we previously talked about, like Pirana and Purana Mandir, they represented the heavy hitters of the Ramses in terms of recognition and commercial success. What I'd like to get into now is some of the lesser known films that they put out in the same era where we try to look at how the responses to these bigger films possibly affected the shaping of the ones that followed. First up is Tekhana from 1986 which came to screens after Purana Mandir and Samri 3D. The name Tekhana refers to a subterranean construction like an elaborate cellar or catacomb in the film, it's a grotto-like structure under a palace with rows of pillars and even a sort of bathhouse. Incidentally, the palace is the same one that's seen in Purana Mandir. By this point, the Ramses had started to recycle sets and props and musical motifs from that film in the hopes of repeating its box office success. Plotwise, Tekhana is an interesting mishmash of genre. A large part of the film is an involved pulp adventure in which the protagonists hunt for buried treasure. And to reach this treasure, they must first assemble a map. Uh, this map is a combination of two pendants that are worn by sisters who are separated in childhood. So that's a very Bollywoodian kind of uh, plot line. The other narrative thread is that of a black magic practitioner who is the evil uncle of these poor sisters and he raises an undead entity in whom he invests his soul. So think Mechanus Gold meets the Golem and you have some idea of the unwieldy scope of this film. So in Taikhana, you can see how the success of Purana Mandir influenced their further work. While previously the Ramses had developed several kinds of horror plots, the huge impact that Purana Mandir's monster Samri made on the audience seems to have decided them to have a similar monster character in all their subsequent horror movies. To be fair, Tekhana's nameless boogeyman does look good, played by actor Shamshuddin, who normally did bit parts as henchmen. He is imposing in size and the makeup job lives up to the usual Ramsey standards and there are some solid kills as well. But unlike Purana Mandir, the monster in Tekhana does not have a strong identity or purpose and seems somewhat tagged on to the treasure hunt plot which takes up the bulk of the running time, of course, with the accompanying slapstick and romance elements. There is a good bit of creature mayhem in the climax when he whacks his way through a sizable lot of torch-waving extras. The climax is also interesting in terms of not having any religious iconography for destroying of the monster. Compared to the Ramses other horror films, the screenplay for Taikhana has a hurried sloppy quality. In one scene, the female lead, after being startled in the night, is running all through the palace that the treasure hunters are put up at and she's banging on doors but with no response and you kind of wonder where everyone else is. She then rushes down to the grotto and has an adventure there. When she gets back, all these guys are assembled in the living room ready for action. I doubt the Ramses had any kind of Lynchian surrealism in mind, so I would just put this down to sloppiness. A couple of words about the cast. One of the male leads in this film was played by a newcomer, Kamran Rizvi, a model turned actor with a pleasant screen presence. He would have possibly made a good stock leading man from the Ramsey studio, but in a bizarre incident just a few years later, he was actually stabbed to death in a family dispute. Also, people who've seen Purana Mandir before will notice that in Taikhana, actor Puneet Isar plays the exact same role that he did in Purana Mandir and even bears the same screen name, Anand. All things considered, Tekhana doesn't stand with the most distinctive Ramsey movies, but there is a certain charm. See you then on the next episode where we look at another Ramsey creature feature, Purani Haveli. Till then, take care.